Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's talk about the quantum mechanic oscillator when the total potential energy can be greater than the energy the oscillator has in the first place. You say, well, wait a minute, how is that possible? How can an oscillator have more energy than it was given? But here we're talking about quantum mechanics, and it is theoretically possible for the potential energy to be greater than the total energy. What does the Schrodinger equation then look like for that oscillator? And it turns out it looks exactly the same. The question is, how can that be? Because when we go back to the simple form of the equation, notice that here we have the second derivative of the wave function is equal to the positive alpha squared times the wave function. And alpha squared is defined now as 2m over h bar squared times the quantity, the potential energy minus the total energy. And yes, that's supposed to be a positive quantity because we've defined it as being larger than the total energy. So then when we plug that in, the first change now is that we change this to a positive instead of a negative. Now when we work out this equation, notice that we replace alpha squared by what we defined alpha squared to be equal to. And then we're going to move the 2m over h bar squared to the other side by multiplying both sides of the equation by h bar squared divided by 2m. Now notice this is a positive quantity instead of the usual negative quantity that we expect to see up here. Then the next thing we we'll want to do is move this portion of the equation to the left side. So the v of x times the wave function is now moving to the left. That's now going to become a minus v of x times the wave function. And on the right side we have a minus e times the wave function. Now we take the equation and multiply both sides by negative 1. So this now becomes negative, this now becomes positive, and this now becomes positive. And then if we replace this form of the equation, the second derivative by the partial with respect to x, the second derivative of the partial with respect to x of the wave function, then we have something that looks exactly like this when we also replace the potential energy by 1 half ks x squared. k, of course, is the spring constant. x is the position away from the equilibrium point. And notice that we have the exact same equation. The difference is that, of course, this here now must be larger than the amplitude so that this amount, that this quantity right here is greater than this quantity right here. Otherwise, of course, the equation doesn't work. As long as we adhere to this condition right here, you look, you take a look and see that the equation for the simple harmonic oscillator looks exactly the same as the equation where the total potential energy is less than the total energy of the oscillator. And this is how that is done.